Yeah. You'd go to stand-up New York, and he'd be there. Yeah. And so the, people thought I was way further along than I was when I started doing comedy. Like, I remember the first time I played uh, on the road with Geraldo, a lot of the places we'd go, G- Greg was like, oh, this young guy, he's great. He's a killer. He's whatever. And I was only doing, like, 15 minutes and then bring him up. He was doing right. an hour. And so uh, these the guys would tell me, like, why don't you come back? We'll book you. Right. You know, you can come back and headline. <laughs> I'm like... I have 15 minutes, <laughs> like, but yeah. I didn't tell them that. Yeah. I would just go, yeah, yeah, yeah. If my schedule clears up, I'll send you an email. <laughs> and I would send out emails to bookers with no dates like that I was available, but just like, hey, just letting you know things are going good, blah, blah, blah. And I would never put out dates, so they would never book me, but they all knew who I was. And then years later, when I was ready to do it, I'd send out dates, and then they're like, yeah, it's about time you played our club. <laughs> so you <laughs> kind of got fast-tracked in because of your connections, because you started making Just friends with everybody, friends with at, everybody. At, at Stand Up New York? Yeah. And he made... There's nobody in the business who has more friends. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, I, I mean, the thing was, is I genuinely loved hanging out with the comics, and then when I decided to finally actually do comedy... Because I got talked into it, uh, I I wanted to do it, but I was too scared to you know put myself out there.